I went to Korea in the middle of March to see the new Galaxy S8 and to also get a glimpse into how Samsung has changed its testing processes. We spent most of our time in a town called Suwon. This is what Samsung calls Digital City, and it's their headquarters. It's actually the size of a small city. There are about 34,000 employees. It's about the size of 250 soccer fields. So basically, it's this massive campus where they do all of the research for their new products. Our second day, we flew to Gumi, which was about an hour on the helicopter. In Gumi, this is where Samsung's newest devices are assembled. It has eight other sites around the world, including in Vietnam, but this is kind of the heart of where their products have always been put together. With the Galaxy S8, they're also doing new testing to make sure that the battery is safe, like puncturing it with a nail, uh, putting it in machines that simulate really high temperature, so over 150 degrees Fahrenheit. They also started some new tests. One of the most interesting ones we saw was what they call accelerated usage tests. This is basically trying to simulate what you actually do with your phone, but at a much sped up process. Samsung also had these huge um, shelves set up with different rows of batteries, different phones plugged in to test to make sure that the battery charging and discharging works properly. They have the ability to test 60,000 phones in Gumi. While we were there, they had 6,000 actually being tested in terms of charge and discharge. With the accelerated usage tests, those tests take five days per device. So it's a really thorough program. I was one of the first people outside Samsung to actually get to see the Galaxy S8. So for Samsung, this is kind of the device. They codenamed it the dream to show employees that technology that they dream up can actually come in a product, even if it takes five or six years. There's the curved display, which they call the infinity display. They got rid of the physical home button and went with a digital one. They have a new artificial intelligence assistant called Bixby. Show me gallery photos from Melbourne. Okay, I found 26 pictures. With Bixby, it's not about questions like who's Martin Luther King Jr. or what's the weather. It's a new interface for your phone. So you're not just gonna see Bixby in phones, you're gonna see it in washing machines, refrigerators. In the US, most people know Samsung for its TVs and its phones. When you go to Korea, it's not just electronics. They manufacture clothing, they build boats, they have an advertising business. In Korea, Samsung is makes up more than 20% of the economy. So they're just this huge behemoth that you run into at every point. Uh, right now they have some problems in Korea though. Their vice chairman, J.Y. Lee, who is actually slated to take over control of the company, has been arrested and charged with bribery and embezzlement. Samsung is still really apologetic for what happened with the Note 7, but I think they're also very optimistic about the S8. This is the device for them, that this is going to really show their position on design, on software, and they think that now they finally have a program, a phone, that will help their different devices talk to each other better. For Samsung, this is just a huge, huge deal.